Good on YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a new collage, seen as the last video I'll put on the screen right now did so well, um, I just thought it'd be time to make another one for you guys. So this one's going to be a bit easier than the first one, it's just going to be a few layers laid up on each other just to make a simple collage, which I'm going to put on the screen now. So this is what we're going to be making. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, if you do let me know in the comments down below and as always, let's get straight into the video. So first thing you're going to want to do is get an A4 document and just create a new document. So it looks like this. White background, doesn't really matter, but once you've got this, we're going to drop the first images in. So I'm going to get the images now and then I'll get back to you. Right, so this is the image you're going to get given. So it's not going to have this sky in the background because we want something a little bit better than that. So it's a black and white image, so you don't need to mess around with the color too much. We'll do that in the camera or filter. Um, so first thing we're going to do is select the layer. Then we're going to get our quick selection tool and just go along the background like so and it should take most of the background out so obviously there'll be a little bit of uh, areas uh, like on the mountain which it doesn't pick up but you can just go back through and do that the next thing you want to do is select the areas over on the left side as well if it doesn't pick any up just make sure it's all in the design so that's that done now what we need to do is layer mask that out so obviously we're going to need to um, select invert the selection because obviously it'll look silly otherwise so if we click inverse and then that's that done now we need to just click layer mask and then the background is done so that's good we've cut it all out already the next thing to do is add a drop shadow to it doesn't need to be too big or the spread too wide it just needs to be you can just make sure it looks like it's there so the next thing we're going to do is add the sky in so all these will be in the file that i leave in the link below so I'll drop that in now and then we'll get on with that. So this is the sky image. It's going to be a little bit big, so you can just reduce the size of it. Just bring it down to how big you want it. So that's how you're going to want it to look behind the mountain. So we're just going to move it below. And as you can see, we've already got the sky image done. See, it's really quick, simple way of doing it. So the next thing we're going to do is probably add the moon, which will just go up in the top left, which will look really good. Okay, right. So this is the moon image I've just dropped in. So now we're going to just, instead of cutting it out, which will be really tedious, I'm just going to change the overlay to screen so it looks as if it's like in the background like so and then i'm going to reduce the opacity to about 50 percent so as you can see this makes it blend in a lot better and then we can just move it up to the top like so and then it'll look really good so the next thing we're going to do is add the lady in and then the road at the bottom so you can see where it's going so now you're going to be left with this image so this is the lady we're going to put behind the mountains now She's already got this orange bit cut out on, on her head. I found this online, so I'm going to leave it in the file so you can download it as well. Um, and you can just basically play around with it. You can put it wherever you want, but I'm going to put it in the corner over here behind the mountains because I think that's where it looks best. And I'm just going to reduce the size of it a little bit just so it's not too overpowering. And uh, you can have it wherever you want, really, but it's just personal preference. So that looks pretty good to me. Just cut out in the background. And the next thing we're going to do is add the road and then an orange circle at the bottom of the mountain, okay? Alright guys, just a quick update. I've seen that a lot of you aren't subscribed to or watching the video, so I'm just going to put a little thing on the screen now which will show you the percentage. I'm not making you subscribe, but if you are enjoying the videos, then it would really, really help me out if you could subscribe and just show a bit of love to the channel because I'm trying to reach that 1,000 mark so I can start uh, improving my videos for you guys and start, um, uh, start being able to create more videos and helping you out more. So if you are watching this and you aren't subscribed, just take a bit of time out of your day and just subscribe. And it just gives me that extra push, you know, to, to make more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. So I've added the road in. Now this is another texture, uh, another image that I found cut out already. So you can find these online uh, on different websites. You can pay for them. You can do all sorts of things. I'll probably make a video in the future explaining how you can find found images like this to make collages with. Because there's loads out there and it's really simple. So if you just uh, move this down a bit. You don't want it too big, so you can obviously you can make it uh, flatter as well, and then reduce the size of it. It's simpler, so that looks pretty good. Uh, you can always move it up if you don't like where it is, or increase the size. So that's at the bottom now. So the next thing we're going to do is add a circle. So if I just get the circle tool, uh, it doesn't matter too much how big it is. You can have it as big as you want it, and then you're going to want to move it below the road, so it looks like you're entering the road. Uh, and then we're just going to change the color to an orange personal preference really with this but uh, I'm just going to use orange because I think that that is going to be the best color for it so something like that and then we just select it when we select the circle so now we've got our orange layer so it matches the the lady's head 
and the road's going into it. So we're just going to add a texture over the top of the orange now. So we've got the texture. Now it's already been a reduced opacity. So all you need to do is drag it above the circle, make sure it's positioned nicely, and then clipping mask it to it. And there you go. So you've got the texture on the orange circle. And now I'm just going to add a drop shadow to this. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow to the lady as well. And that's pretty much it. So we've got all of our image together. Now the final thing we're going to do is add some uh, little uh, hot air balloons in the background. So here they are. Uh, I've got the hot air balloons. Now I'm just going to probably uh, move them just above the uh, design like so. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity just so they uh, look like they are in the background somewhere. So that's nice. Now the last thing we're going to do is add a camera raw filter. So if I just select this whole image and then just go command J and then command E. Now we just need to cut it out like we usually would do. Now it's all cut out. We've got our layer. Now the last thing we're going to do is add a camera raw filter. So I'm just going to do that quickly and then I'll be back with you. Right, so this is the final outcome I've come with. Uh, the collage looks really good, I think. I think it blends really well with the images, and I think it looks really good. So if you have any troubles with this, in the, uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you. But I'll leave all the files in the description below. You just need to download them, and they'll all be in there. And you just layer it up like I have. And then you can go and make your own digital collages like I have. Uh, if you have any trouble, I'll leave another link to the video in the description for another collage and it should help you learn how to make digital collages. So if you have enjoyed this video guys, please let me know in the comments and leave a like, uh, that'd be great, and I'll see you in the next video.